What is up, y'all? It is me, Tasha C. And in this particular video, y'all, doing lighting reduction, y'all, I'm doing something I haven't done in a while. And that's not only doing a review recap, I'm doing a review on, which is a first, I think. Well, not a first of doing thing with Tyler Perry. I tried viewing a couple of series, but we're going to be doing a little movie review um, of his classic phenomenal new movie that just came out amazon prime um starring megan good and oh well why was getting that man's last name messed up um divorce in black um i had to record it uh my commentary twice in a row y'all so you'll hear the enthusiasm it, uh, in it we all know that usually uh tyler perry comes with enthusiasm and uh, you know, uh, you know I, like uh, uh, <laughs> the best movies. Who am I lying, my lying to you, <laughs> y'all? I decided decide to go ahead and, and actually um, get, my get my commentary on this lovely masterpiece. Sorry, y'all. It seemed like it was edited or something went in and out, but it did. I had to switch what i was editing into y'all and i don't want to lose the commentary i already had but like i said i since it's been getting a lot of like feedback and stuff i figured why the heck not let me go ahead and follow you know of course tyler perry's worth ethic but before we get into it we got like two two minutes of promo my my sis nay nick and jayla's a promo minute and then we'll get started into the wonderful film okay y'all okay, quick little announcement, announcement or little prom uh, promo um don't forget to like subscribe my sis channel nini's kitchen this is a little preview you know you'll know what it is you're going to check over on that besides sis, we waiting come on sis for you to post a new video but encouragement y'all go check out her channel nini's kitchen with a z um she would do the mukbang, she would do storytelling, you know, blogs, etc. Just real quick, but like I said, shout out to my, my sis, you know. Y'all go ahead and, and subscribe and so forth. You can get likes just, um, from everything, even down to like uh, probably some, some vids about some edibles. But you won't know unless you subscribe. It's just we waiting. We waiting. And also, don't forget to follow her now. She'll eventually have like more uh, social media and stuff like that. Um, but for now, this is her. This is my uh, Nini's Kitchen. You see right here, Nini's Kitchen with four, seven, 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 seven. And don't forget to subscribe. But okay, sis, we waiting on you. <laughs> All right. What is up, y'all? Here, if y'all looking for some wonderful, high, top quality candles, and also something maybe to light the mood and stuff, then go ahead and go to lightmood.com and get you your candles. This is um, this girl, founder, co-creator, and open business is Jayla Self Esteem Queen. I'm trying to get her on YouTube too, but like I said, you get candles, everything, and being creative, overcoming the society, and so forth. She also offers such services as Reiki healing, sound healing, and so forth in person, and also over the, the I think over the line and or over the phone. But shout out to Jayla Self Esteem Queen, like I said, top girl candles for example they smell divine i have pop life whatever but anyway y'all get y'all candles today again her website is like the moon.com by jayla self-esteem queen all right i'm out oh goodness y'all I'm about to record again. <laughs> Originally, um, I this is my second time recording. So um work with me here. Now in the land of Tyler Perry's um beginning of this film, actually we ended up seeing in the beginning we're in a church. And there's a funeral going on. We find out we have the man, Richard, Mr. Richard, aka his dad, and her, and uh, her mom are behind, and they're talking up, you know. And Ava's dad's preaching the word, you know, about a rich man going to hell, and you know about you know a Ava's husband, aka um, the, I want to call them the barristing bears, uh, boys, whatever, with the bad mama, whatever. They known to be menaces around the time. Now, I'm surprised why would they even pay for this funeral considered they have beef with, you know, beef with them. They are terrible. And I think maybe it's the oldest out of uh, 
five or six boys, the mad mama, I will tell you in a minute. So, you know, like I said, the preacher's all talking, you know, everybody, most of the church like, hey, man, mm-hmm, got to get yourself together, you know, you know, and they like, what the hell is this? You know, the mom getting mad at Ava, which is uh, Megan Good's character. Um, you know, they all like, you know, the son's like, whatever, you know, Dallas even kind of like, what the hell is this? And come on, what are you talking this, this for? So, you know, like I said, you know, it pointed out that Dallas was the only one as preachers said, that actually went to school to finish this. Say everybody else dropped out before they learned how to multiply four times three. So um, they've been known to terrorize, uh, jump people, attack them, rob, you know, graping and everything. Okay. And that's what he said. That's how this older boy basically is in this casket right now because of his act. He could have just got himself together, but no, he tried to, t- you know, tell one of the elderly, uh, one of the um elderly um people. I don't know if it was elderly lady or not. You know, that had a bunch of peppermints down in the purse, and he thought it was some money, or whatever. But whatever that license, they you know took him to see the you know see see the Lord early or in that case they trying to say he's already downstairs having his first buffet at the devil's dinner table so um of course they mad and the mama's like you ain't gonna keep talking this ticket this about my boys go on get your brother we we don't need your handy downs we don't need nothing so mama bearskin bear she like uh you know what take this close f your casket f your couch f everything I don't need this shit. We don't need this shit. So she started stripping down, but she had a full slip on. You know, she ain't like she's showing, you know, her clothes. Clothes she got um from Torrid or whatever or Ashley Stewart. She wasn't showing her bra and panties, nothing like that. Okay, she was covered. And, you know, but she was like this. Go, go and get your brother. No, don't take the casket. Like I said, F that casket. Okay, get your brother out. And you know what the brothers did? They took, they took the body out the casket. And they were like, oh my gosh, you know, eventually the pre- like, Nick Miles, go ahead, blah, blah. And he was like, what the heck is going on? And, you know, like, it's, you know, um, Dallas and his southern, you know, sideburns. My dad used to have them sideburns, you know, like, you know, the, the long sideburns that kind of like in at the cheek, you know, the country sideburns. Not everybody got them for the country, but that's just a moment my dad used to wear. <laughs> but I think they in Georgia based on it was uh, saying that, you know, they got to drive, I guess. An hour 30 minutes and also ava's best friend and dallas only friend are also there with you i think the it seemed like dallas best friend only friend is a only friend is a lawyer okay that's that that's what i was getting so you know they end up leaving and you know they took them and they put them in the back of the car and the title comes in um divorce is dressed in black okay um <laughs> black so you know she's talking to her parents and her parents you know basically like you know how they are whatever we ain't gonna like you know finish line used to be a running a track star when are you going to leave that mess behind because she's like we you know okay you know that he's just going through a lot of whatever you know um he's obviously a boy that comes from person that comes from trauma and you know whatever and the town is is that they 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 nothing you know did anybody pick up the clothes um the clothes that the mama put down you know at all i know they took the brother casket and put in the back of the black pickup truck or uh, whatever so they can bury him on a lot like plant cemetery y'all ever heard of that movie i i've seen the commercial version i didn't see like the actual film because that's i don't like scary films so, but you know, like burying him, the barrels like in front, they got a slot in front of the house slash the RV. Um, so, um, they end up basically, um, you know, taking them so they can eventually, um, uh, bury. But like I said, she also talked to her best friend and they guess, I guess they work at the bank, whatever. And she's like, you know, like, oh my God, that's my husband. You know, he just go to a bunch of why you did that but he felt like it needed to be said he didn't say anything wrong even though i want to take the time to take time to pay because it's like it's all right it's been paid in full whatever 
you know, we pay thousandfold, whatever, like, you know, they did what they did, but I'm just was like, I wouldn't even done all that. But anyway, so it's later on and the chief was, you know, waiting finally to try to, to see to get her husband later on after talking to, you know, her parents and stuff and realize, you know, he got to go to work, you know, he got to go to work next day. Y'all, if y'all have watched the movie at all, or you plan to, did did they ever say what Dallas did besides pretty much stalking? You, well, it's already spoiled the boot, so I might as well tell that advance. Um, was there anything that shown what he did as a job? Did, did that come up at all? Okay. But anyways, y'all. So later on. She goes to the Bearsting Bear slash Mama say, you know, there. They already, you know, the mama I think was already like, see, I told you we should have buried them here. And I think like they buried, you know, the, the daddies, you know, three cats and three rabbits and two turtles and whatever else. So, um, that they'd already been buried on there, okay? And she said that's what they should have done in the first place. Instead of like the pen of thinking that Ava, you know, the good tissue, the bitch, because Y'all, I think the word bitch was used so much, like, you can do a drinking game in it. Especially the word bitch came like that. It was at least, like, 10, 12, 13. It was a lot. Okay? Like I said, if you decide to do a drinking game word bitch throughout this movie, which I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I put it on 2.0 2 speed, time to speed, because it was actually almost a two-hour movie, so it only took me a whole hour. First, I wasn't gonna do the speed, and I was like, you know what? Let me go speed this up. <laughs> So, but anyways, so Ava, because, you, you know, there might have been at least 20 whole members. A good co portion of this film seemed like it was based on the day of the older brother who was, you know, taken out the casket and was buried on the Barristing Bears, uh, boy slash mama bears, you know, uh, they land. Okay. So anyways, she come there and, you know, the brother's looking at her like, you know, whatever. And I think one of the brothers, like, that's a little bit rational. It's like, oh, he in the back. Mom, you know, ain't, you know, whatever. But uh, she goes in the back and tries to talk to him and tries to tell him the story about, you know, about, I guess he was trying to fix, like, a tire or something at the prom. And he's basically like, you know, you try to tank me to something I'm not. Basically, you the problem. Get the F on. And she like, huh? Are you going back me? Well, no, I'm not, or whatever. And she ends up sleeping in the car, I don't know how many minutes, whatever, waiting for him. And then Mama Mad Mama Bear uh, comes in her way. Uh, uh, what are you still doing? She was like, I was waiting for Dallas to come. And oh, yeah, because it was Cody. Yeah, Cody was the older brother that, you know, is now buried right next to the, the uh, barbecue pit um, on my, the Bears and Bears lawn. Um, sh she was like, um, you know, no, I'm not telling you shit and get the heck, get the F off my, uh, property, you know, um, so she, um, she ends up going to the local pub bar where he's there with his brothers. Cause somebody told us, I don't know how small, I mean, how small the place is, but they did tell her they were that, you know, you got them, you know, they still, um, Dallas trying to get another beer or whiskey, whatever he's trying to get. And the bro, you know, the brothers all like what they all looking back at uh Ava funny. She's like, you know, come on, we you know, we gotta go and stuff. And he's still acting like mm, whatever. And then she walks outside, um, and there's this guy named Benji. I don't know if he was in the church or not, not like it matters, but Benji is going to be throughout the film as well. Okay. Um, unlock a new character. Uh, so they all talking and then here comes the brothers beating that like we should put you back in the hospital again like we did in Jim, you, you know and blah 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 and like they about to get started he's like i ain't scared of y'all whatever and then the owner you know who actually was the one to call ava it was like pew pew benji we about to close if you come in here for a drink a second ball i ain't having that y'all go and get go and get with that is but the same one of the brothers is was a little rational and told 
uh, Dallas like no you don't need to be driving drunk drunk and drunk whatever because she's like no I'll drive he want to drive whatever you know that wasn't gonna go too well so he ends up giving you know Ava the keys after he rough them and put them to pass the seat like you sit down okay and they go home he's in the bathroom and he says something to her when they got home and says something about he told me to take him out on a live and whatever and he, she's like what and he's really not saying thing, but she's trying to be there for him and then it's the next morning now next morning Dallas act like nothing happened. He got on his turtleneck and shit all ready to go to work. And he's, he was like, I cooked everything. Are you, you know, you know, do you want to talk about last night? I mean, nothing. What do you mean? You know, so it's almost like either he purposely just doesn't want to bring it up. He blacked out and don't know, remember what he said, you know, and that's it. And it just like, it's left up under the rug. So, um, around this time though, it seemed like the same day or the next day, a couple days later, you know, it don't matter. Remember, this is Tyler Perry's film, you know. I also was surprised that Megan Good actually produced it too. They showed in the credits. Um, he tells her out of nowhere, like, uh, I want a divorce. And she was like, huh, what? He's like, I want a divorce. It's over with. I'm sick of you and all this shit, blah, 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 blah. Hi, Tyrone, don't call me, whatever, okay? I'm sick of you. Your parents can, Karen's can head the house, you know, because they made it down. I don't need a house. We don't have no kids anyway, blah, blah, blah. You know, F you, okay, basically. And she's just like, oh my gosh, why, whatever, you know, it's, you know, because already he, she was accused that she was trying to change him the day of the funeral, whatever, and, of a Cody, whatever. And, but now it's like, it's, it seems he's putting whatever issues he has on her now he wants to you know say divorce and of course she's crying sad whatever and to make a long story short she decides that she's going to take a break and basically go and she ends up driving to her parents house in the middle of the night going to her old room with you know um with uh all the will smith po uh, posters on her wall and then her parents is like, you know, the next morning, like, we know you for you to be coming here, um, that something was going on. You know, they show her when she's jogging the next morning, the next day, and, you know, having reminiscences, I guess, of the good times, whatever. Um, also, before she, around the time that she left, whatever, when her friend and her were talking, her best friend, it, like I said, I think her husband's name, I don't know why I can get the the, the best friend's name were for Dern. But I think it's Jeff or Jim. It's Dallas' friend who is married to Ava's best friend. Okay. And she gave her like a four page letter. I first thought she was like saving some money, some stack so they much to get the hell away from this dude. It turned out she made a list for her to look at all the things he has done to her bad. Like, you know, the courage her to get the F on away from th this crazy dude. And the mom ends up the next day, whatever, finding it, whatever, talking to her like, oh my gosh, what did I do wrong? And it was, it was like, no, you know, but it was like her trying to, you know, basically it was trying to say somebody that was trouble, who needs help, who obviously was, seems like it was a victim turn or bruiser situation. But yeah, he had, has put hands on her, spat on her, all this other stuff, whatever. And, you know, the dad comes in, but I don't know. Well, not like it matters because he did enough where the dad figured out whatever, uh, uh, whatever, you know, some of the stuff because she continues to do this problematic behavior throughout the film, okay? Until the last scene. So, she ends up in another scene because they're like, no, 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 no. I mean, I, I mean, dad, I, I tried and blah, 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 I don't know. And she went with the dad. They went to, I guess, the True Value Hardware store of that county. And she sees again Benji, which the dad had told them. He had alerted him that he was going to go. They were going to be there. They talked a little bit, you know, how did I catch you doing or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Also, they were talking about this upcoming bake sale. Now, the upcoming bake sale, y'all, is actually 
you know, the church had because, you know, that's what the mama was talking about. Benji's daughter, which is weird that how they placed her. She, I don't know, the food was dry. There was no sugar or something. She is talking to him about, you know, the, the things about dealing with divorce and all this other ish. And the blue girl, we don't see her again until we see him again um, later on at the fair, which we'll get at. Like I said, she's been all over, been talking to her friend, uh, her be bestie. Like, like I said, a couple times we've seen him talking in the car about the situation and then, you know, on and off again. And then with this fair, um, she sat there and like I said, we're just going to fast forward forward because like I said, it's tired period. period. Um, like I said, he wants a divorce and all this other stuff. So, um, when this fair goes, her, her parents are at this fair and, um, with her, her. Benji again is with the daughter, um, his daughter, he bought something, you know, or whatever about the divorce. Like, you know, he talked, it's like he talked about the divorce, but he doesn't really talk about the divorce. So it's not even, even worth writing down or remembering. Because it's like the little girl is there on the, you just see the side of the little girl. You don't really see her again. It's like first it said, oh, well, let's, you know, talk and catch up. I'm thinking they're going to go somewhere to the daughter or go on a ride or something like that. Two minutes later, they sitting there and they at, you know, near a creek or something. You just see them. They didn't show the child got dropped off at they at they grant grant they Gigi's house or nothing or back to the mama's house or whatever the case is we don't hear about the little girl I don't think anymore did we even know her name but besides that they out there talking and she admits like you know again the night that he got drunk by the Bearston boy Bearston Bear boys or whatever that night because she broke up with Dallas that day and they automatically jumped him because she was with her because they got uh, all got issues and stuff like that. And they jumped him and put him in the hospital. Okay. So, um, but he, you know, they, it was just talking about reminiscing. She felt like, well, you know what? I only been with Dallas. So I really wanted you to make love to me tonight. You know, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I don't want you just for that. You're more to me than that. So I I don't want just your body. I want you all together. So no, he let her sleep in the back. He looked like they were trying to make some s'mores or something or finish. And so he was like, I'll take you back home the next day. So he did, they didn't do nothing that night. But little do we know the Bearstein boys somehow it's, were somewhere around the corner, whatever, at the Ferris wheel, wherever the hell that, and sent this one picture to indicate, even though this was just showing her talking to Benji, not even showing they were at, like, um, you know, like, even at the creek by itself or anything, it was, but it was enough proof to prove to Dallas that he was doing the right thing of, because they, that's enough proof to them that it explains that he they were right that she's been cheating with Benji all this time and blah 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 and all this other stuff so you know so I think um after after that whatever she he comes up like I say he's done this so many times but he started popping up like he had air tag there was one time he popped up a job was throwing a car and a bitch and I'm like we're security we're security back you know at the bank when she goes back to the job because her best friend at first was going to, you know, like ask her, did she want another week? And she like, no, we're going back to the, the, the job. And it's just like, um, where the hell does he work? And never, like I said, we never know where he worked, whatever y'all, like I said, it switched whole story. time. So there was, since he was acting that way and stuff like that, she was like, you know what? I'm going she talk to her friend again. I'm just going to give him a divorce, divorce in black. We, you know, he doesn't have the thing, you know, we don't have to split anything or whatever the case is. I just want to be done and over with. And I want, you know, that is, uh, the best of, you know, uh, best of my, uh, my, um, for the best for me. Okay. Because also too, um, around the same time, I think her parents in between that showed her, the tapes 
um, you know, like when you get, when you get enough is enough. And he showed all the tapes in the wedding. And here go me, mama, who was at the damn wedding, acting the damn food and go knock, you know, Megan Good's character's bouquet out of hand and wedding. She's no good. She's she going to make your life miserable. She's she one of them type of ones that want to keep their sons like ask her, her man because she miserable as hell. Or even if it's not in a sexual way, man, the way like keep them miserable like her. Huh? And, um, but, and then that he was showing the film, like the whole time you've been with him, you never had smiled at daddy said about the film, just to show her, like, you need to leave it alone because nothing has became better ever since you've been with him. So, anyways, besides that, he, uh, um, she, oh, 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 Lord, okay. Her best friend decides that they going to, like, go over to the divorce party. Uh, it was a surprise, surprise, after. She went to go with the Lord, and the guy was like, are you sure? You you know, because they had Jeff, you know, on Dallas' side, and her friend on the side, and the person was like, are you sure, you know, you want to sign? She was like, yeah, I'm going to sign the divorce, blah, blah. And two seconds later, it seemed like Glyph, and here go Dallas telling Jeff, like, you see how she was just so quick to agree. She must be missing me. Blah, 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 blah. And give me the marriage, you know, like, and Jeff was like, you basically, you want to divorce or whatever, and blah, blah, blah. But he felt some type of way that she went along with what he asked and kept doing her and requested the divorce. <sighs> so anyways, later on, they have a divorce party. And, you know, of course, Tyler Perry has the best baby in all set because it's three guys. So you know, they got the divorce cake, like F them girl, you know, a uh, uh, cake and, you know, having a party. And Benji is there and Jeff is there with, huh, I don't know, maybe they were just celebrating and just were like the guy support of her finally, you know, getting the, the divorce in black. And which we don't know if he got air tech or not, but on cue. Uh, who's outside and somebody notify him or Jeff finds out or Jim or Jeff, Jeff and Jimmy uh, finds out that Corey is outside. He sits here, talks to him and he's like, well, I want to get the gears to see he up here. Did you know about this? And Jeff was like, man, just, just go. He ends up finally leaving though. But we already know it's going to be a problem, whatever. But did somebody, like I said, listed on Instagram about this party it was no i don't think it was no social media like social media in this film but anyways so um that same night benji takes um miss ava home and um you know he you know she first like if you want to you can stay in the you know in the guest room and stuff like that but he's basically like no I want you. I want to make lady blah 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 blah. So I just brothers playing where you all my need and they have the next thing right there on the couch, whatever. And so the next morning, while she go downstairs and Benji's still in the bed and it looked like maybe she's getting ready for work, you know, or whatever. She go downstairs, who's eating circle honey circle oils on the kitchen and got in the house like it ain't nothing. He basically like, let's work it out whatever i'll forgive you and every darn thing else blah, blah blah and she's basically like you have to leave i don't know how you got in the house but you have to leave and he telling her well i'm gonna go upstairs blah 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 and i don't know like i said why she didn't say anything because you know that they, you know they room is a two-story house whatever right upstairs whatever and she ain't like saying nothing Knowing that this fool, you know this fool's gonna go upstairs and go and try to then she and the, then she Benji was still in the bed, so he could have jumped, you know, my, you know, took him out, whatever, had him go permanently night night. But he goes up there, him and Benji, you know, Benji's able, you know, to get him. They go back and forth, and she's like, no, blah, blah blah, you know, in the corner, and Benji's able to put him <laughs> in a sleep hole. He ends up, she's able, and decides, but not Benji's help, not until damn near when they get outside. She's able. With herself that has Wonder Woman strength, like real Wonder Woman strength, and drag um Mr. Dallas, like the famous, like, like, like 
I don't know if this was inspired by Get Your Shit from Angel Bass's playing the character Bernadette in Wayne to Exhale and in the book Get Your Shit, but she's just like, I'm sick and tired. You have this managed to be able to drag him, slide him down the stairs, slide him out the house. And even able with the help finally of Benji, but she's been able like 95% of the time was able to drag this man. Uh, kids can be heavy. Okay, kids can be heavy. Well, she's able to just drag him a slide like she got one of them sliding things under him. And even then, she just dragged him like it was nothing. And just with the help of Benji, they put him in the car and they just like, oh, he finally is gone. No, they didn't check. Like that was just nothing. They didn't even show like how he brought broke in because she already said when he was in the house eating them honey circle O's. Like, how did you get in here? And he's like, the house, they didn't show like, is he a locksmith? Is it nothing? It just never showed like how, you know, like I said, also did he, you know, he had tracking devices on every day. Did he specialize in hacking? What did he do? Okay, so. We have another scene where either the dad is, you know, is at the house. I don't know if it's just Ava or Benji and her best friend. I forgot, but he did get, give her some pew pews and put ring.com cameras and the no new doorbell and stuff. And, um, and also, um, but you, you know, like the app, it's just everything to make sure that, you know, she's straight and hey, like I said, change all the locks and everything. So, Going back to another scene. Now, after that occurs, like I said, he appears. He's at the job across the street again. Jeff is all talking to him again. I think like, man, what did you do? Like, you knew all this time, blah, 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 blah. And then we fast forward. Like I said, a lot of it was like the same repetitive scene over and over again. We have a scene that, you know, you got Ava, Benji, they, they at Jeff's. And uh, I can't, I don't know Ava's best friend's name. Um, in the film, uh, I think it started with as we're gonna say A is a BFF. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so she, she, they all of a sudden, here comes out of nowhere, he's coming to that it came, he comes in the back wire like it ain't nothing, coming like I'm coming to visit my best friend, you know, well, and they're like, what the heck, and he's like. You know whatever oh so you been always cheating to me stuff like that oh you gonna take your side whatever and then he you know for he left though he's you know it was like y'all get they basically like you get out of here and he's like you oh what do you what 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 do you mean um uh, you didn't tell oh did you tell her did you tell your wife about kelly and he's like yeah uh obviously they had dealt with an affair issue on the husband end and he's like, he been hitting that bank, you know, smashing uh Kelly for years, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, no, that is a lie. That happened once. And so he left. And then they had a scene where, um, then they had a scene where basically after everybody leave, um, they just talk about it. And you know, that I, you know how I felt. Yeah, you know how I felt. Yeah. And it, and they just, left it alone and they like on good terms now that 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 was it that um <laughs> um that that was the end of talking about that so after that like i said he's th threatening we have other scenes and then around the same time oh the role i think her name was rolla i don't know why i thought her name um was started with an f well, we're just gonna call rona for now but so we have another scene where it's getting a tense y'all and we have it when a mom is up there shopping i think she got off the phone with dad or ava and all of a sudden on cue like i said because you know it's obviously been a restraining put, put order put in which um dallas had mentioned at you know popping up at you know his former friend's house or whatever the case is at the time and he all basically the mama like you you know you bitch whatever blah 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 and you know and she's like leave me alone and stuff like that and he you know yokes her up basically she's like get away from me you devil then she proceeds you know to 
power walk away, whatever. And then the person doing the stock, he's like, what the fuck are you looking at? And then he just keeps going, you know, going, whatever, like it ain't nothing. And I first thought the first thing she was going to do was to tell her husband and such dark it, it because you know that's stalking and all this other stuff and he just doing it in daylight and he's just like he's just getting more okay more suspicious you know with his stalking and stuff and becoming more tense and what happened was um the you know the uh the dad later on she's all talking and it turned out like i said she never told her husband that he did this shit he up here started getting the guns out, but he should have rolled with his crew. I don't know how much he was beloved because I don't know if like his only job is a preacher minister. I don't know if also if he's like a farmer or stuff like that. Like I guess Benji is, but he's like this. He's like, um, you know, I'm about to go to. She was like, no, they're gonna kill you, no, no, no. And then she calling Ava, and I think she went Benji. And she just talking, seven percent about another about. That's exactly how she sounded on the phone, whatever, right? And the dad goes over there. I mean, it could kill, but she's up there, you know, mama bear, mad bear come out. And, you know, he's like, I'm looking for your son, whatever. You touch my wife, you touch my daughter. He pulls the shotgun. And then you got all brothers, the remaining brothers stand behind him. So one of my, they pile him on the side or graze him by the foot. And they, they stump and kick him down. And then he's down. And, you know, next minute he's in the hospital. But, but this Time, what happened early around that same time right before it is Benji I think it was early that same day Benji had like it looked all it was a bunch of animals laying around like they were doing yoga or they got them some edibles but it turned out they've been poisoned and they no longer here so but the sheriff said early that day oh uh we can't prove it's the bears thing bear boys and it's the same thing even with the dad because even though he's knocked out and, you know, they're, these embarrassing bears are known for the records, with, uh, you know, for being like horrible ass people. They somehow, the same sheriff claims, oh, I don't have any proof that it is them. So, what happened was later on was um, Ava got the idea to finally go ahead and um she's going to take matters into her own hands by her damn self by the way okay she she is strong and whatever the case is and she's going to do it on her own so she sends a picture uh, it's all it was another picture somebody took but it looked like almost the picture that say he took or something because it was outside looking the window of the divorce party which she was just talking and dancing to Benji. It was like something that wasn't enough to say incriminating, where you could flat out say because of that, that's enough proof that they were involved. And even then, that was after the divorce when that occurred. Um, I mean, the divorce was finalized. So, anyways, she said, oh, he's the best I ever had, and blah, 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 and this and that, but, you know, but telling him to come back to the house anyway. She goes there by herself and just waiting. He shows her he got a pew pew and puts it on the table, whatever. Like, it's the whipper. What is going on here? And so she's talking to make her say, you brought out the bitch and me and then it and some other stuff that's supposed to be, you know, like remarkable, but wasn't. And then he ends up attacking her first one time. And then he ends up where she slides on the other side of the counter after he puts hands on her again and he's looking look like he's looking in the fridge for some bagels and shit talking about uh you know what um my mom told me to do it to do that to daddy he used to hit my mom blah 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 or something like that he's something like he said now you're gonna feel it too or something like that he was saying but something along the lines that because of the trauma he had and it seemed like as they did nothing but pass it on and continue now where the like i said the victims become the abuser but she like this like good you just gave me enough right there proof and i'm still like where is a gun or something your hand this ain't gonna help she up there taking time to call 911 in front of him without a girl in her front but then it was like pew, pew, this stuck down and then we see the shotgun pew pew 
and he's like this and we thought it was gonna be more suspense still and ain't nobody else got to the house yet in time you know but she like he's like this go ahead show me pew he went down next minute everybody's at the house except of course the dad because you know he's still in the hospital you know in like temporary serious condition um uh, because it was saying it didn't look good and then they was like yeah you know the friend talking about yeah it was uh you know he had a restraining order this so you know they were basically saying that you know she had enough and um there was enough proof that she was able to get away with you know doing the pow pow and they go back to the hospital obviously it must be the only hospital like i said i don't know how small this town is but they go back and i don't know if this is the next day or whatever and then they're leaving and you know get the dad you know he you he being released or whatever and here we got mama bear with her remaining now i guess three boy three boys left and she ain't even cry. It's like it's like she has a certain time set, or maybe she doesn't believe in cry. But it was just like, oh my gosh, really? And here's what she said. She had told Ava when they're going past by, like, you, you, yeah, my boy, this is not over yet. And Ava says, some line of lies. Well, it is, and it is going to be oh well, and that is final step on that and next minute credits come up I'm like, what the hell they could have just made it even though they would not make the film better they could have show like her and benji getting their life together afterwards and trying like you know time later and stuff and you know showing like you know like the the, the rest of the boys like i don't know whatever getting the rest the rest of the shit but just show like a better ending Considering y'all the film was almost two hours, if two hours and fifty seconds, damn near, um, they could have had a better ending. It was cliche as it wasn't. If first of this, like I said, it was it was just like okay, but um, that's all I got, y'all. Hopefully this one works. Then hugs and love up y'all have a great week. Enjoy the rest of July. I hope this time this this recording sticks because I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm gonna be mad as hell if I can't keep <laughs> this one because the last one for a reason it wouldn't stop recording. But I hope y'all enjoy my little commentary um with this movie. I try to do the best I can. I'll be back soon. I don't know, it'll be another Tyler Perry anymore movie. But like I said, y'all, movies like this should encourage y'all. You can achieve your dreams. And you know why you putting yourself down and think you got a horrible movie book or whatever? No, you don't. <laughs> it might be a chance. You might. It might be phenomenal. Okay. But anyways, y'all, I'm out.